What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and I just wanted to make a quick guide video for the epic boss of Spec Ops 16. Now unfortunately the epic boss isn't Apocalypse, it's Sugar Man, but the good news is he can be found in Mission 1. But in order to make him appear you're going to have to finish all the threats and all the deploys. And the first of the specific heroes that you're going to need for deploy is Colossus. And he will be the cheapest of the deploy heroes, while the second character, Havoc, is the most expensive. So I believe he'll cost about 200 command points if you don't already have him. And lastly, the PvP character that you will need is Spiral. So she's going to run you 135 command points. But that will be all three of the named hero deploys. After you've completed all the deploys and all the threats, you will see this dialogue pop up. This is the part of the story where they introduce the epic boss. So you can see clearly it's going to be Sugar Man. And I believe the default team up is going to be Gambit. But you are able to change it. Remember Sugar Man is an infiltrator so you should bring a scrapper to the battle. Now if you've completed all the deployments and all the threats including the end boss Living Pharaoh, this should be the only thing you see on the map. The fight costs 10 energy and 20 unstable ice 08 and it's with Sugar Man and two blaster test subjects. Now in this battle you're going to see the Scrapper X-23 in her alternate horseman costume. So I guess you could say this is kind of a first look video wise at her in costume. But I don't think I'm going to leave Gambit in there. Unfortunately we can't bring Beast or Rogue in their ults in. So let's think of a good team up for X-23. I'm thinking we should use a tactician to go against those blasters. So maybe someone like Magneto. But you know what I think we're going to go ahead and go with Moonstone. Because she's a tactician and she'll boost our melee attacks. So that sounds like a pretty good team up for X-23. Now as far as this battle is concerned I don't think it's going to be too difficult. But I do have to say that we face Sugar Man way too many times and I'd much rather be facing Mr. Sinister. I don't think that Sugar Man really has any new moves, but who knows, it's always possible. I have my Protector Agent in there so he's going to take most of these attacks. And then we may get some counter attacks like that one from the Blade of the Guardian and the Mercurial. Now when this blaster attacks I'm kind of hoping he does an AoE, that way we can get tactical maneuvers. And it looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. So we get Moonstone's tactical maneuvers and for some reason Big and Fast is working as well. But that's something I've noticed going on for some time now. Now with Moonstone's turn I'm going to start by using Gravity Syndrome. It's a quick action because I have the snappy service quick and powered ISO 8. So now we've boosted melee attacks and that should help out X-23. Then I'm going to finish off this bottom blaster but he didn't die. Okay that's because he's going to explode and it actually did quite a bit of damage. So now I'm almost worried about that other one exploding as well. I think I'm going to finish Sugar Man and save him for last. But the good news is Moonstone is phased so she should be fine no matter what. On my agent's turn I'm going to use the Neurotrope. I took a small break from using this but it's just way too good of a gadget. Next I'm going to use the Empowered Armor's ability Short Fuse. So I'm strengthened and enraged. And then after that I think I will heal myself for my first turn. I just want to play it safe since we are weak to blasters. And then I'm going to hit Sugar Man with the Blade of the Guardian. I have Blessing of the Heroes so this is going to be a guaranteed critical hit. And like I said we are strengthened and enraged. And it does quite a bit of damage. But luckily we did save him for X-23. So with her we'll use Made for Walking. It does a huge hit and she's better than ever with this new costume. And the final henchman's going to explode and that'll be the end of the battle. Everyone managed to survive so that's pretty good. And now we're going to get to go for the roulette spin. There's another weapon from the horseman set that you can get from this epic boss. And that's what I'm really hoping for. 
It happens to be right in the middle of the wheel. But first you can win 40 unstable ice of weight, 5 and 10 command points as usual, and then there's the weapon. So it's stealthy, it puts death frost on the enemy, but it also puts doom, despair, and has fatal blow, depending on how many set pieces you have. Alright, so let's hope that we get this. Everyone cross your fingers for me. So here we go. Wow, I thought we actually had it. Looks like it stopped on it. And then it went one over to Quantum Elixir. Alright, so that's going to be the end of the video. And I do hope it helped. Next time I'm going to begin showing the Horseman alternate costumes. Unlocking them and using them in both PvE and PvP. And I also may show the complete Mission 1, so let me know if you want to see the entire story. I could include all the dialogue and the boss battles, both the Living Pharaoh and the Epic Boss. And I will try to have the first part of the task list up tomorrow as well. Lastly, I want to thank you all for watching and ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, good luck and take care.